Welcome to the Data Janitor. My name is Mike West and thanks for joining me. Let's talk about SQL at a high level. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's the gold standard when talking to data. Although SQL is an ANSI ISO standard, there are different versions of the SQL language. However, to be compliant with the ANSI standard, they all have to support at least the major commands, such as select, update, delete, and insert, all in a similar manner. If you've heard someone say SQL is just SQL, that's what they mean. However, there's a caveat here, and it's a big one. All vendors that adopt SQL change it or tweak it a little. That means all vendors have their own flavor of SQL. For example, SQL Server's flavor of SQL is called Transact SQL. Oracle's flavor is called PLSQL. Snowflake's flavor is called Snow SQL. The SQL language is broken into two major branches. The first branch is DML. DML is an acronym that stands for Data Manipulation Language. DDL is an acronym that stands for Data Definition Language. DML is used to work with data and tables. There are four core DML statements. They are select, insert, update, and delete. Select means to read the data in the table. Insert means to put the data in that table. Update means to change the data in that table. And then delete means to remove the data in that table. Data analysts and SQL developers spend most of their time in the DML side of the house, while DBAs and data engineers spend most of their time in the DDL side of the house. Why is that? Data analysts author SQL code that manipulates the data in the tables. The majority of this manipulation is reading the data. If you're creating a dashboard or a KPI, then you only need to author select statements. A select statement returns data. If you're reading data, think select. DBAs and data engineers are often responsible for creating the objects that store the data. An example of a DDL statement is the create table statement. Before you can insert data into a table, you first need to create that table. In most SQL flavors, in order to create a table, you issue the create table statement. As the data engineer, I'm going to create the destination tables that are going to house the data from the relational database. Those tables have to be created before you can create a pipeline and move data to it. The creation of the tables, the pipeline, and all the other structures required for data movement is the responsibility of the data engineer. All those structures are created using DDL. If you're just starting out learning SQL, keep this separation in mind. If you're massaging data, you're likely going to use DML. If you're creating objects like tables, you're likely going to use DDL. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.